connected. Once you can count on the logic as being, um, then you can start to, to build on that to create uh, inventions, like invent new technologies. Might this be the end of the era of ChatGPT? Because you won't believe your eyes when you see how Grok AI has outperformed ChatGPT on standardized tests. As of November 22nd, 2023, social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, had released its own controversial chatbot AI, Grok. But apart from the funny name and the infamy of the platform that is associated with it, what can this new AI model do? But what capabilities does this AI possess that make it stand apart from the competition? What is Grok AI capable of that other language models aren't? X's Grok AI has been highly anticipated since its announcement in November. Elon has been vying for a large language model, or LLM as it is known, that could rival or even beat the current titan of large language models, ChatGPT. Elon had co-founded the company that invented ChatGPT, OpenAI, along with several other notable beneficiaries from the tech world like Reid Hoffman, who had collectively pooled in an opening fund of $1 billion for the US-based company. Elon eventually stepped off the board of directors quite unceremoniously and stated his reason for leaving as a conflict of interest. Many believed that this departure was caused by the fact that Elon wanted to develop an AI for Tesla and would have to actively compete in a company that he was part of to do so. Elon would eventually work on salvaging his company Tesla, which was a sinking ship, and focus on SpaceX in the meantime, with his hopes of building an AI taking the back burner for now. Jump to 2022, OpenAI, after pacing through several iterations and models of a chatbot, would finally settle on and release ChatGPT to the public in November of 2022. While the world had been relatively unaware of how capable AI was, ChatGPT would blow people's expectations of what a language model could do. Within just a week, this simple language model would garner 1 million users. This immense blow would come right after Musk had acquired social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, in October of the same year. Musk would have several gripes with the company, and with old wounds opening up, Elon would question the company's legitimacy of being a non-profit organization when its growth had gone from $1 billion to an estimated $30 billion. He would also have many qualms with ChatGPT itself, saying that the AI was programmed to be too politically woke and restricted and contorted info based on these preconceived political notions. Musk's concerns would be shared among many a circle, both political and apolitical. He would respond to these grievances by announcing that X was working in collaboration with some of the brightest minds in AI technology to bring a truly unbiased chatbot for the billionaire's social media platform. His team would be small, but contain former employees and researchers who worked on GPT 3.5 and 4, along with many more with prominent backgrounds in companies like Google and DeepMind. They would begin a company together in March of 2023 named XAI and would incorporate the newfound company into X on the 12th of July, 2023. This date was chosen for a specific date by adding the numbers of the date that day from the number 42, which, according to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a comedy sci-fi show from the late 70s that has heavily influenced Musk, is the answer to every question in the universe. This humorous reference is a foreshadowing of the kind of chatbot Musk would aim to develop at his newfound company. Musk would then follow up and announce on November 4th, 2023, that XAI was proud to introduce their official competitor to ChatGPT, Grok AI, a name that would be another reference by Musk to the 1961 book Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert Heinlein, in which Grok means to empathize at such a level that you blend with someone. Elon and his team would announce Grok on XAI's official website, in which it was stated, and I quote, Grok is an AI modeled after the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, so intended to answer almost anything and far harder, even suggest what questions to ask. Musk's confidence in his team's work is clear from this statement made on the website. The company also states that the chatbot is made to answer questions with a bit of sarcasm and humor, which could be a direct reference to Musk's complaint that ChatGPT was too sanitized for its own good. It had been stated that Grok will be made available only as a part of the controversial Premium Plus package on X for a sum of $16 a month, which is in stark contrast to the freely available GPT 3.5. Grok can be accessed via the X website or app through its official portal once you subscribe to the Premium Plus package. 
When you open the interface, you will see that the AI is set to fun mode in the top right corner, which enables it to be a bit more humorous and vulgar. In this mode, the AI can roast people based on their ex post history and various other superficial features, but what keeps it fresh that it doesn't just repeat insults and of the such, it seems to build constructive jokes and insults, which is interesting to see. Switching Grok to regular mode and using it will turn it into what everyone expects of these language models and give info with sources to any queries without any sort of jokes or insults. As with any language model, Grok seems to have its faults as well when it comes to staying in the context of conversations. It seems to trail away when you ask it to explain previous queries. Users of the new Grok AI have reported that it's a bit of a shock to see how the bot replies in comparison to ChatGPT, with one interaction being recorded as such. When a user of the chatbot asked a simple question, when is it appropriate to listen to Christmas music? The bot responded, whenever the hell you want, like a disgruntled employee. But this relatively shaky start would not be the end of the large language model. What many would point out is the fact that this LLM was developed in four months when you compare the benchmark tests of ChatGPT, a bot in development for over five years before it was released with Grok, Grok had outperformed GPT 3.5 by a large margin. It was on par or even better than GPT 3.5 when subject to these benchmark math tests, turning heads and raising questions on the true potential of this LLM. But the team would be unsatisfied as they stated on the website, since these benchmarks can be found on the web, we can't rule out that our models were inadvertently trained on them. So to curb these doubts, they conducted a test with the questions from the Hungarian National High School Finals in mathematics, where the AI was ranked along with other competing models by hand. Grok had outperformed every other model other than GPT-4, which is still the current best LLM. This has astounded AI enthusiasts and developers, and people are now excited to see what kind of capabilities it will possess on its official release when it's out of beta. XI has stated that its goals for Grok and its website are to develop an A that is capable of multimodal capabilities, long context understanding and retrieval, adversarial robustness, etc. These terms are big and mouthy, so to simplify it, XAI is trying to develop a large language model that is capable of all the things GPT is known for, but better. Everyone is eager to see what the team at XAI is innovating and wants to see if Grok will be able to even surpass GPT-4. Grok is Elon's answer to OpenAI's unchallenged domination of the LLM sphere. So what do you think of Grok AI? Do you think Grok is going to shock the AI industry with its capabilities in the future? Comment down below and let us know.